Okay. We've had a big separation. Aggie and this lady and the great white yoke are now the babysitters. They're not going to be put in lamb. This lady, that Zvartlas Yo, is going to a friend of mine's grandson. So these are all the weathers and Yo lambs. And they're going out into the flushest field. Isn't that right, Aggie? You know where you're going. Oh, there we go. Old arthritic, great white yoke. This is the best grass. So all the lambs are gonna come into this, except for those four who are acting the maggot. Typical. Typical, typical, typical. No, 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 no. Oh, you are an ignorant, stupid animal sometimes. I'm sending you all to a fantastic place and you decide to go the polar opposite direction. Honestly, sometimes I wonder why I have anything to do with sheep. Go on. Shoo. Shoo, shoo. See, all the others are having a lovely time. This grass has been left to last. So it's lovely and sweet, full of all kinds of rich herbs and things like that. Ah, uh, they're really acting the maggot out the little gate to join the rest. So, that's one sort. So the yo lambs, the weather lambs, and the yo's I don't want to go in lamb are out there. So that's three yo's and a whole bunch of lambs or what's left of the lambs. Lots have been sold this year. Pepper and the big fella are relaxing, they say. This is too much like hard work on a hot day. And it is a hot day. Here we have, this is Buster with the four ladies that I've selected for him. They are unrelated to him. So that's why he's got those ladies. And one of the yo's in that lot has been calling and calling and calling all day for a ram. So she's in luck. She's gonna have Buster as a boyfriend. So I've gotta bring them the remaining the rams that have been sold, that are waiting for their owners to pick up, are left up there. The alpaca are here. So I now have to move the buster and his ladies up to the orchard. Because he only has four, so he's going to be in a smaller field. And he's an older gent. Then, over here, there's Finbar, and Finbar has his. He's only got five ladies. I've sold so many sheep this year. So he's only got five ladies in there. I keep them separate for the moment because he'll really bully them and they need a chance to get away uh, so that he can then smell their pheromones and say, oh, she's in season or she's not in season. But when they're in a close proximity like this, he'll chase them around, chase them around, and they won't have a chance to squat and pee for him to smell their pheromones. So I'll put them together when I'm taking them out to the field. But for now, they're separated. And I'm gonna move Buster with his ladies up to the orchard now. Before 
before I move rams with yos, I need to get the alpaca out of the way. So I'm going to try and get them to come up into this field here. Because I don't want the alpaca to go into the orchard as they will uh, eat too high, their browse line will be too high up. So hopefully these rams are shifting away. Smudge is in there as well. Now, hopefully she'll see this and come running. Come on, girls. Come on. Okay, three. There we go. So, they're all secure in this field now. Well, this is Finbar with his group of ladies out in this field. You have your five. I've really got so few ewes this year. I had nearly 30 last year lambing and I have what, 15, 16? Four, five, and six. That's 15. So 15 years. Okay, and this is the opening out, ladies. There we go. And Finbar's the youngest, so he can be the most athletic in chasing the yos over hill and dale. How are you Bathsheba? She'd be one of the oldest yos I have now. So that's one, two, he has four hoggets and one mature yo. So those two in the front are hoggets. Bathsheba he's standing next to. And those two over there are hoggets. He's doing the Fleming, sniffing the pheromones of the pea. He'll go and inspect each yo. Each yo will pee and say, no, I'm not ready yet, or I'm nearly ready. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the beginning of the breeding season. Come on, pups. <whistles> Brindle, leave it. Brindle, leave it. Come on, Maya. Come on. Good dogs. <whistles>